Good afternoon everyone from Jeff's Little Engine Service. So we've been working on a lot of pressure washers this year and we've been seeing a lot of these Subarus which people get at Costco and uh, I've already done a couple of videos on these but uh, the one today we're going to focus on how to replace the pole rope. As you can see this unit the pole rope uh, has been pulled out And luckily the guy saved the uh, the handle but both of these are EA 190 V's Subarus <laughs> this one uh, actually has Subaru's name on it whereas this one it's a home light and they're saying this one's 2700 PSI and this one's 3100 hmm anyways so as you can see this one's a pull start and an electric start and this one is just a pull start only. All right, so let's do this. Looks like we need a uh, Phillips to get this cover off. Pretty sure we're gonna have to take this cover off to get to it. Well, that's easy. Okay, so that's what we have there. Uh, it does look like we're going to have to take this whole cover off here. It's all one piece. And it looks like that we have some 10 millimeter nuts holding things on. These engines that have this set up, they're notorious for pulling out these studs when you try to take the nuts off. So I'm just going to spray a little bit of WD-40 on there. Now let's see if we can spin these suckers off of here. Yeah. So there's just three. All right, now what happens? Might have to remove the fuel tank. Looks like that piece needs to be removed. And you can see this one bolt in the back that holds the uh, gas tank on. You need to take it off. Now I think we can take off this gas tank. Yep. Just stick it aside. And uh, these are usually spacers in here, so be careful you don't lose them when you take this off. There we go. See, this is the stud you don't want to lo have loosen up on you because then you need to regap the coil. Matter of fact, I'm just going to crank it down a little bit. Oh, good, it's still tight. So I know this engine was running good, so I'm not going to bother uh, regapping the coil. What, so what we need to do now is get this old rope out of here. And depending on what happened, uh, there's no good way to get it out. This one's kind of tangled up in there, so let's start hacking away at it. Dang. I don't want to have to take this whole pulley out because there's a spring mechanism in there and it kind of sucks to have to rewind it. So, let's see what we can do here. I think I can see part of the rope down in here. So I'm going to use my long needle nose pliers. Hmm. Got some of the rope to come out a little bit. Hopefully that's it.
Man, I think that's part of the rope there too. It looks like it got all wound up in here. I just can't get this rope out of here. I know it's wound up all underneath the pulley there in the spring, so I'm going to go ahead and take it off. Wish me luck, folks. So this is what you have in there. Spring, a couple more springs there, and then your little dogs or your paws. But unfortunately, we need to get in a little deeper because we can't get this string out of here. It's so wound up. All right, so I pulled the... Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, jeez. I knew that was going to happen, but there was nothing we could do. See that? That's what I needed to get off of there, that knot. Now we can finish taking this rope off. That spring is sprung, boys. There we go. All right. Finally. Well, that was a pain in the butt. But things usually are when you're working on small engines. Sometimes things go your way. All right. So I didn't mess anything up there. The springs and the paws are still in place. And I didn't lose the spring here. You just need to make sure when you put this on, you just need to make sure when you put this on, you put it on the proper way. And I'll show you how to do that. So now we have to deal with this sprung spring. Sprung spring. Sprung spring. So I need to get my gloves for this because you always get messy doing this. Okay, so you take this part. Don't let these pieces drop out. And you need to wind up this spring into a circle so it fits into here. And I'll show you how I do that. Let's just wind this thing up into a loose circle here. This spring seems like it's kind of going in two different directions. I'm not quite sure what's up with that. Something could be wacky. You just never know. Okay. So you can see. Alright. So I can see what I need to do here. Straighten that piece out a little bit. And you basically need to insert that piece right there and it's okay to let the spring go at this point and now you just start winding the spring into this little circular cavity it takes a minute or two but you can get it just be patient and I'm just going around and pushing it in place get so busy working this time of year my carpal tunnel acts up so I have to wear this brace and it helps out almost there Now keep, make sure you keep holding this spring in place because if this thing springs on you, it could take your eye out. 
kid. So be careful. Don't you put your eye out, kid. Now look at that. Just how you want it. But you can see this tab here, this inner hook, you want to um, engage into this slot here. So we're going to need to bend that hook a little bit closer to this uh, hole. You can use a pair of needle nose pliers to do that. Just kind of give a little twist to it. See, because we want it to get, we want it to be right about there to fit into the slot here. So I think I'll give it another little twist there. There we go. Now you don't want to get it too bent out of shape. Yeah, so I'm wondering if that will engage with their little hook there. So it looks like right about like this. Yeah, you know when you got it right because uh, you'll have rewind again. See that? Cool, I got it right on the slot. So this piece, uh, these, these hooks here just go right here on each side of the pawl. So like this. Alright, so I've tightened this down just enough to make sure that uh, I have it in the right position. So I know everything's in the right position because when I uh, move this like that, you see these paws come out. So let's tighten that down. Now this is just a plastic component, so you can very easily strip it out. So just tighten it till it's snug. Looks like my drill got it pretty tight. All right, so we're ready to wind this now and install the rope. Okay, so to wind this thing, uh, we're just gonna wanna take a set point. Let's uh, take this little slot right here, and we're going to wa wanna wind it counterclockwise um, probably six times, maybe seven times, and then we're gonna have to hold it in place with the screwdriver, so let's see, we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's getting tighter, seven, yeah, I'm going to say seven times, and then you basically just poke a screwdriver down through here to hold it in place. And then you'll want to measure out your rope, push it through the hole here, and align it with the hole here to have your rope come through, and then you tie a knot and you're good. So that's how it's done, son. Okay, so we want to line up this hole with that hole. So right about like that. And then I have about uh, five and a half feet of rope here that I've burnt the end so it's nice and hard so I can poke it through. You just have to aim it right. There we go. Success.
Now I just need someone to hold it in place while I get my pliers. Stay. Yes. All right. Let's go ahead and tie yourself a knot. Tuck it into place there. Hold the pulley. Pull out your screwdriver. Hold your rope. And let it go in. Not all the way, remember. We still haven't put the handle on here. Here's the end. And as you can see, it sucks almost all the way in. It does suck all the way in, so that's perfect. Don't let that end go, because then you'll have to rewind this thing. Well, I'm just going to tie a knot for now. And that way it won't get sucked in. Let's see what happens when you pull the rope. We're all fixed, folks. Just need to put the handle on. Looks like maybe that's a plug you have to pull out. I just have a little pick here. Yeah, that'll get it out of there. So if I can't get the rope uh, to fit through the handle, what I'll do is I'll just heat it up a little bit and then I'll make it kind of skinnier on the end. Sometimes that'll work. Looks like this one I'm going to have to poke through. Hopefully with this pick I can poke it through. Alright, so tie yourself another good knot. There's room for a double knot on there. It might be a little much too much rope. You can probably cut off about a foot of that. And you put the gas tank back into place. So you can see the rope's a little bit saggy here. That's fine because I'm going to take another, um, probably another foot out of this rope. Uh, and how I know what I'm, and what I mean by that is when I pull this to like a full arm length, I still have about two more feet. So I have plenty of uh, rope to take a little more out. If I need if I need to, but it looks like it's pulling up snug now. 
Yeah, I'll take some out. Yeah, so I'm going to take out about a foot of this rope, or not quite a foot, about six or eight inches. Make sure to toast the end a little bit here so it doesn't fray. All right. Yeah, much better. Oh, well, let's tighten these down. Not too tight. Don't want these studs coming out. Which is what happens the next time you loosen them if you over tighten them. Right, we're good. So it looks like about five feet of rope would be uh, ideal. Put this bolt back in place. Well, guess what I forgot, folks? This bracket here. So uh, I'm going to have to untie this knot and run this rope through this bracket. I forgot to put that sucker on there. Son of a... All right, untie these damn knots. This pick helps me untie these suckers. Careful not to poke yourself. Okay, don't do what Jeff does. That's the moral of this story. Alright, so how did this go on? It was like this. Or was it like this? I think it was like this. So go ahead and poke this through that there. Tie your knot, call it good. Don't forget your little cap.
All right, folks. So we're going to go ahead and fire this thing up and uh, see if it runs. Let's, let's test this baby out. goes in for the choke. Make sure this switch is on. 